are going to go through some exam tips here for API 580 Respace Inspection course. So if you go to course content here and go on module one, the exam tips, you find them there. Let's start with exam tip one. There's no negative marking, therefore it's advisable to answer all the questions. You can increase your chances by narrowing down the possible correct answer by striking off the obvious wrong choices. So you, all you have to do is you just put your uh, mouse on that thing that you think is wrong answer and right click and it is strike it off. All API questions are multi-choice for possible answers. API never uses terms such as none of the above or all of the above or both A and B or B and C as possible answers. Remember that all questions carry equal mark. For example, a simple question as the symbol for magnesium or manganese has equal mark to that of a half a page long question. Although time management should not be an issue, but keep a tab of time versus number of questions answered and uh, carry on on a constant speed. If uh, you're short of time, flag off a question um, and uh, go to the next question. And then at the end, whatever time remaining, you can look at the flagged of a question and answer all of them uh, to the best of your knowledge. Uh, we always recommend that uh, you set aside 15 to 30 minutes for reviewing all questions once again, or at least reviewing those questions that you're in doubt and flagged off. When solving the doubtful question, try to understand as why a particular answer may be right, while the other three given answers should be wrong. Eliminate wrong answers to increase your chances of picking the correct answer. Please note that sometimes the wrong answer is quite a valid statement, but it is the wrong answer simply because it's either not relevant to the question or the question asked is in negative form, not. Hence, it's very important that you carefully read and understand the question. Some API exam question contain irrelevant information. This is not aimed to confuse you, but to verify whether you can differentiate between relevant and irrelevant information in an actual scenario. Some questions are solely based on your experience as an inspector. API calls them practical questions. Remember that all certifications, including API 580, require certain level of experience in addition to the education and knowledge. API intends to verify uh, verify your understanding of principles and theory, interpretation and evaluation. So mere memorizing the facts and figures of this study material does not really help. Look at the uh, API 580 and see how that is applied in real practice. Although a few questions may come straight from API study material, most questions are either rephrased or brought within a context or is within a scenario or the question and answer are swapped. Hence, it's very important that you have a clear understanding of concepts and fundamentals. Time management is not normally a, of great importance. You have sufficient time to answer them, provided user wisely, but please note that using the toilet checking out and in, commenting on any question, reviewing the question, etc. is coming off your allowance. For better time management, flag off those questions that you are not sure of and revisit them once you have completed all other questions. Try to eliminate the absolute wrong answer by negative reasoning in order to increase your chances of getting the answer right. Remember that all questions carry equal marks and the minimum passing grade is roughly 70%, roughly because they scale it, so they standardize the level of difficulty across all examinations for API 580. So you should uh, uh, get a minimum of 400 on a scale of maximum 500. 
Therefore, it's logical to attempt smaller questions quickly, and then in the remaining time, try reattempting those questions that are longer, more complicated, or you are simply stuck spending too much time on a few questions without much progress. Try to pace your progress against the time, as it should be roughly on question number 50 after one and a half hours or earlier. Although education can offset for less experience, you should appreciate the fact that unless one does not have real hands-on experience in the field, it would be difficult to feel the underlying reasons behind some of the codes, standard and recommended practices. The experience is gained through observation, power of deduction, and it's ultimately the common sense, really. Use common sense, reason it out, is likely the correct answer to a very easy question. A lot of questions are derived from basics. These are definitions, vocabulary, terms and definitions, meaning, scope, exclusions and inclusions. Sitting for an exam can be stressful, especially for such a gruesome exam. So try to sleep early the night before and stop studying on the exam day. Just peruse through the important parts of the reference documents or look at the figures and charts for around half an hour maximum. Let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the, this day-long exam.